All right, now we're going to talk about how to merge duplicate customers. So oftentimes this happens <clears throat> because somebody's in a hurry, right? <clears throat> they need to create an invoice and uh, they don't know all the information for the customers, but they just want to get the invoice in the system. So they just type in four lane instead of four lane LLC, which is what we always use, right? And now we have to go in and merge the two down. So whenever we have a duplicate customer, what I always say is to look at both of them and see which one has the most information, right? So four lane LLC has terms in here, has phone number, email address. You know, I've got a whole bunch of invoices and payments and history. Uh, I even have jobs under here. So most likely this is the one that we're going to want to keep, okay? This one has some information, but you know, no address or no contact information and only has one invoice. So what we want to do is we want to rename them to be the exact same name. Okay, and this is the field that we we're talking about that has to be unique. If it's not unique, it's going to merge them together. So what I usually do so that we get all those spaces or periods or dashes or all those things that are really hard to see by the eye. So I come into the one that we will end up with in the end, right? So four lane LLC is the one we want to keep. So I go in, I edit the customer. It already starts out highlighted on the customer name, which again, this is a field that has to be unique. So I just hit control C to copy, or you can right click and copy. Then I go into the one that we're going to merge into the other, right? So now I edit this customer and job by right clicking. And then again, control V or paste so that the exact same name shows up here in the customer name. Now, if I put in the company name down here, doesn't matter. It's not gonna, it's not gonna ask to merge or anything like that. But I'm gonna go ahead and say, okay. QuickBooks will pop up a box and says, this name is already being used. Would you like to merge them? So I'm gonna say yes. All right. Now that invoice, that 1053B, is now under this customer, four lane LLC. Notice their balance went up by that amount. Right, and all the transactions historically are merged together now. So a couple things to consider with this. If we're talking about merging years of data together, <laughs> which we can do, but it can take time, right? So if you merge it and it sits there and you get the little spinning wheel, it's because you've got a lot of data that you're merging together historically. The other thing to think about when you do that is that you're updating the transactions, okay? So even if it is two years ago, it's updating the name on the transactions. So it will affect things going backwards. It will show up on your audit trail, stuff like that. The other thing to consider is that if you do close your periods, right? Meaning if I come in here and go to my preferences and accounting and I have my closing date password set, Okay, it could cause you to enter that closing date password to merge them together. Merging names isn't that big of a deal. And you know, for, for the most part, there's not too much that can be affected accounting wise with merging names. Although I would still do it in a test environment first before doing it in your live environment. Um, but if you're talking about merging items or other things in QuickBooks, that can be pretty, you know, pretty intense. Um, because vendors, as an example, it could affect 1099s. Um, if you try to merge items, it could affect your item's average costing. So you just want to be really aware. So always do a backup, take it offline, and test it beforehand. That's how you merge a customer.